of Saddam Hussein's Iraq uh, uh, would <clears throat> behave in a way in that region that would be helpful to our goals with respect to Syria and, and the terrorist threat that existed. And we decided it was worth having me go in and meet with him. Uh, in that visit, I cautioned him about the use of chemical weapons, as a matter of fact, and, uh, and discussed a host of other things. I think they're pawning this off on a little nobody post house so they don't have to get their hands dirty. And replace it with what, Pat? I don't know, a shot of Tony driving or something, or shots of the road. I mean, I get it. It's their first episode back. It would be uncouth to leave it as is. People are looking for someone to make a stand. Come on, Frank. I mean, with all due respect, taking it out is like doing the attack all over again. This is a 15-minute snip, Frank, especially for you. This would be a great opportunity to level up. Just do it. Oh, hi, Michael. Hey, Patty. Hey, Frank, I got the end credit fix uh, that you asked for. Uh, if you want to take a look before we print the tape. Good? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, it looks good. Lunch? I mean, everywhere you look, we're doing exactly what they want us to do. It's real evil out there, man. And God just needs us to root it out. I mean, I've been thinking. We got an opportunity here to, to wake people up. I, as an editor, you, you got to take personal responsibility like, for everything. Like, it's not all just, you know, listen to the higher-ups. Hey, I'm following orders. Snip, snip. <laughs> People, they, they, they don't really know what they want until you show it to them. It's just some, sometimes you got to take matters into your own hands. Like, the buck stops with you. Hey, I told you I got screwed out of cutting John Q, right? So you, uh, you're from Iraq, right? Uh, my, my dad's from Iran. Oh. Huh. You know, I, I should run those digibetas downstairs before the mailroom breaks for lunch. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, thank you so, so much for coming over here and for trusting us with this. We are such enormous fans of the show and uh, really excited to be a part of it, uh, even under such heavy, heavy circumstances. So, without further ado. No, we really don't need to. It's just a quick swap, right? Screen it.
loyalty, honor, and loyalty, honor, and loyalty, honor, and loyalty. Why is that honor, shot still in here? Loyalty, yeah, that's not honor, and loyalty, the American way. I don't know why they put that in there like that. I have no idea. You're supposed to be taken out. Outside for a minute. Uh, please excuse the technical difficulties. Michael, get their lunch orders. Okay. So um, for lunch we have Chinese sandwiches or Italian. Michael. Hey. Let's talk for a minute. You want some coffee? <laughs> you know, Michael, we really like you. We think yeah, you have a lot of potential here. You're organized, your timelines are always perfect, and you are a team player. You know, we should talk more about your future here. We never really discussed your career goals. <sighs> uh, and about earlier, Frank's been going through a lot lately at home, you know? But, so listen, we need to ship these tonight. Okay, uh, no problem. I could do it. Yeah? Yeah, whatever you need. Okay, <laughs> just keep it super simple. Simple. <laughs> okay. some thought to what you were saying earlier and I think I'm ready to advance my career to the next level I just I just think that I could I could advance quickly and even speaking with clients I would love okay to thank you so much
to work for my mother. How old is she now? She's 69. You know, Quasimodo predicted all this. Who did what? All these problems, the Middle East, the end of the world. Nostradamus. Quasimodo's the hunchback of Notre Dame. All right. 